check one two. Hello hello, hello hello. Ga. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot the ga. <laughs> Some of you were ready. Some of you were ready for the ga. It's working. Yatta. Okay, cool. Hello. What's up, Dad? Hello, hello. Uh, hi, Daddy. Hello. Hi, Callie. Hello, hello. Uh, help. Hello, Ga. It's working. Hello. Hi, Callie. It works. Ah, uh, quiet. Do you want me to speak louder? <laughs> Hold on. I can turn up the volume. I just really don't want it to peak. I also don't want you to hear things in the background. So, hold on. Oh, You'll get some clicking ASMR too. Wow, what a bonus. It's a bonus for you guys. Hang on. Let me put up a little bit of a gain. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Check one, two. Hey, hey, hey. Don't scream -o. Don't scream -o. Okay. I I'm gonna tap a little bit. Music's too loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Okay. Da, 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 da. Check one, two. Check one, two. I turned you way low. <laughs> Please don't scream up. <laughs> yes, tap my ears. It sounds great. Sing a song. Uh, no, thank you. I, I will be, um, I am, I am planning on reading some of my own songs, though. Yeah, that was, um, a suggestion. Hold on. I'm gonna stroke, uh, your ears right now. I feel like stroking your ears. What's the music? It's from Dova Syndrome. Um, I just have it down as Sad Piano. Hold on, the mic is gonna tip over. Please don't do that. There we go. There we go. No, it's fine. Oh no, Callie's gonna fix my sleep schedule. See, now this is well-timed for some, and not well-timed for others. Some of you are just waking up. Uh, some of you have been up uh, for too long. Anyway, welcome. A scary bedtime story. <laughs> All the scary stories I saw weren't very good, unfortunately, but I've got an array of different things, and I, I hate to disappoint, but I actually found a lot of funny things. Well, I say funny, um, maybe just chuckle-worthy? You might get a little chuckle. I don't know. You might get a laugh, a goof, a gaff. Hold on, let me move the camera. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, Underworld never sleeps, you got that right? So let me update you about my food really quick, uh, because that was a thing that I was talking about. Um, perfectly timed for me, thank you, you're welcome. So, uh, I ordered some pasta and I was really excited to get it, and I ordered it so that it would arrive, um, about 20 minutes before the stream. Well, something must have gone awry, uh, because, um, it, it kept getting it delayed, and even now I don't think it will arrive for another 15 or so minutes, uh, which is unfortunate, which means I have to eat on stream. And not everyone came here for that. Some people just wanted to hear a story. So you know what? I'll let you know um, when I'm going to eat. If you don't like eating sounds, it's no problem. Uh, you can mute for like 10 minutes or something. And uh, yeah. Can we get a ga? Ga! Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. The mic started to fall. It still looks like it's delayed. Oh well. Intermission. Yeah, it'll be an intermission. Um, so I'm gonna start with some things that were widely- Please don't fall over, microphone. Stop that. Hang on, I'm gonna fix it. Okay. That's because I keep stroking your ears. If I don't- If I don't move and I don't stroke your ears, we shouldn't have any falling mic problems. Okay. Ain't that just the way sometimes? If Callie's too quiet, do you guys think I'm too quiet? I want uh, a pasta slur. <laughs> well, surely you'll hear. Surely you'll hear that. I don't mind. Okay, okay. Yatta yo. Stroke the ears Just like this. Ramen ASMR. <laughs> fine for me. Perfect. You good? God, no, it's okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> no matter. Yes, you need to wear earphones. You need to wear earphones. <laughs> If you want to enjoy it. If you're not, um, you know what? Let me actually go ahead and add that little disclaimer here. Let me add the disclaimer. Uh, it's not really a disclaimer. It's a warning. You ought to use headphones. I think you'll like it a lot more. If you go ahead and put on your best pair of headphones. There we go. There, now you guys got the warning. Your skin already is perfect, alright? A-R-A-A-R-A. My voice sounds cracky. Are you sick? Well, that's what happens when it gets to be nighttime. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, 
you sound good. Have phones are good. Yes, I, yes, big agree on that one. Okay. Now, uh, for some stories, I'm not going to be using any background music. For some, I am. Yes, even for the ones that are meant uh, to give you a laugh, um, a, a chuckle, etc. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So close to one mil, holy cow, I know. So first, first we're gonna start with one that came recommended by many, 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 many people. Um, a lot of people seem to want me to read uh, The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, that seemed to be the most requested, like, serious one, so I thought, hey, why not? What the heck? Uh, let's go for it, and I should be allowed to read it, so yeah, we're gonna read, uh, that, uh, six... Uh, sorry, nine, six, nine million subs. Uh huh. So, yeah. We're gonna read The Raven. And I think. Oh, Kelly sounds different today. Well, yes, that would be because this is an ASMR stream and I'm whispering uh, into the mic. I'm speaking in a low voice um, with a special microphone. So, yeah, it probably sounds a little different. Uh, yeah. My boy Eddie. Mm hmm. My boy Eddie, too. Nice. God. Okay. The Cask of Amontillado. That's a good one to me. Hey, maybe we can read that. I like that one. I read that in Reaper School. Oh no, the stream is making me sleepy. Well, that's the desired effect, so I'm happy. Okay. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> by the way, I'm not going to be reading any uh, super chat messages or even uh, Akaspas that fly by. All of them will be read with this mic at the end. So if you send an Akaspa, I, I won't uh, shout out your name until the end. It's just to not... Um, you sound rushed. What are you talking about? We've got all the time in the world. We do have a members-only stream after this, but I'm simply going to stop. Um, oh my god, they canceled my order. <laughs> Hold on. I need to... That's so sad. I was so hungry. Well, now I gotta find something else. Give me just a moment. That's too bad. It was from my favorite place. What a shame. <laughs> no. Uh, well, let's see what we got. Um, there's one with lots of mushrooms. That's like a pizza. Is that pasta? You don't have any pasta. <laughs> Your boy really wanted pasta. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Hmm. I guess we're getting pizza. <sighs> oh well. Let me figure out this food situation. <laughs> Cause things close around here and if I don't order something soon, it's troublesome. Yo, there's... Hold on. That's nuts, though. I'm looking at these pizzas right now. There's one with, um... They have a pizza with french fries on it. I'm like, what on earth? I think I'm gonna pass on that one, though. I think I wanna have... Huh? Can I tell you to get rid of your old yee yee haircut? Okay, really... Really... La lagger. Uh, get rid of your old yee yee haircut. Does that make you happy? Oh my god, margarita. Margarita tasty. <laughs> Prize pizza. <laughs> no, thank you. Margarita's good. The pizza's are really small though, so, um, no, it's fine. I really shouldn't eat too much too late at night. Anyway, this has been me ordering a pizza. Ha, what if I told you that all of that was a lie, uh, and it was just an excuse for me to read off a pizza menu? <laughs> No, it's not. It's not. If I did that, uh, I'd be in big trouble because, um, you might be able, well, if it's a chain, then it wouldn't matter if I read off the menu. Then you wouldn't be able to find out, uh, the city that I live in, but good luck finding it because I'm in the underworld. Tee hee, tee hee, tee hee, good luck. <laughs> anyway, 
I'm not gonna read the pizza menu. You got your old nice pizza eating ace. I mean, yeah, I like pasta eating more because pasta's more tasty. We're gonna read the raven now. So here we go. Oh, I should have gotten like a snow falling video, but oh well. That was just the breaks. Okay, here we go. This is the raven by by, by my man, uh, Edgar Alpo. Okay. <sighs> Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping. As if someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Did they have bars, though, I wonder? That's not in the story. To some visitor, I muttered, tapping on my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. <sighs> Distinctly, I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly, I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow, from my books, surcrease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden, whom the angels name Lenore nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, to still the beating of my heart, I stood repeating. Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. Some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door. This it is, and nothing more. Presently, my soul grew stronger, hesitating then no longer. Sir, said I, or madam, truly your forgiveness. I implore. But the fact is I was napping, and so gently you came rapping, and so faintly you came tapping, tapping at my chamber door, that I scarce was sure I heard you. Here I opened wide the door, darkness there. And nothing more. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal had ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore? This I whispered, and an echo murmured back the word, Lenore. Merely this, and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning. Soon again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window lattice. Let me see then what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind and nothing more. Open here I flung the shutter, when, with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore, not the least 
obeisance. Made he, not a minute, stopped or stayed he, but with mine of lord and lady, lord or lady, perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat, and nothing more. Then this ebony bird beguiled my sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, though, I said, art sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungainly fowl to hear discourse so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above this chamber door. His chamber door. Bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such name as Nevermore. But the raven sitting lonely on the placid bust spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word he did outpour. Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather then he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, Other friends have flown before. On the morrow, he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Then the bird said, Nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken, Doubtless, said I. What it utters is its only stock and store. Caught from some unhappy master, whom unmerciful disaster followed fast and followed faster, till his songs one burden bore, till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore, of never, never more. But the raven still beguiling all my fancy into smiling, straight I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then, upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore, meant in croaking nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er, but whose velvet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press, ah, nevermore. Then, methought, the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls tinkled on the tufted floor, Wretch, I cried, thy God hath lent thee, by these angels he hath sent thee. Respite, respite, and nepenthe from thy memories of Lenore. Quaff, oh, quaff this kind nepenthe, and forget this lost Lenore. Quoth the raven, never. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, 
whether tempter sent or whether tempest tossed thee here ashore. Desolate, yet all undaunted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there, balm in Gilead? Tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked upstarting. Get thee back into the tempest, and the night's plutonia shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart, and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, never flitting, still sitting, still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas, just above my chamber door. And his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is streaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. What it is. That's it. Now that beats. <laughs> I just can't figure it out. I mean, there are bits and pieces that your boy understands and I can parse the meaning. But, <laughs> you know, it's, it's rather old, so. It's hard for me to be certain, I suppose, <laughs> the meaning. But thank you very much, everyone, for the kind support while I read that. Thank you for the putch, 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 putch. Never more, never more, never more. Hold on. <sighs> Neck breaking ASMR, we love it. All right. I think I have some Dr. Seuss next before we do anything uh, more serious again. Dr. Seuss is a nice in between. Um, I feel. It's not exactly funny, but it's not really serious either, so... Um... I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I wasn't sure uh, if it was any good, but thank you. I think uh, you guys have been uh, very kind, and you seem to be enjoying it. So yeah, uh, Dr. Seuss time. Now, I'm not uh, going to be playing any background music for Dr. Seuss. It just doesn't really fit Dr. Seuss, I don't think. It's not because I want anyone to make a remix. Don't bother anyone who makes remixes um, of Dr. Seuss <laughs> rapping, etc. Don't bother them. They'll do it if they want to. They'll do it if they want to. Well, the one that I've chosen to read uh, this time, and it's going to be rough if they do want to make... Um, if they want to make some kind of remix, uh, it's going to be ASMR, so good luck. Um, good luck. We're reading The Cat in the Hat. The reason being because I just have so many nightmares of the Mike Myers movie from when I was, um, when I was back, um, as, um, Little Reaper. <laughs> like I said, we get movies a lot earlier than you guys. You know, Mike, Mike Myers has, has been a, a big star in the underworld for a long time. So I figured, um, let's go ahead and read uh, Cat in the Hat. So yeah, we're going to read Cat in the Hat. Here we go. And this story is The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> I think... Um, for the sake of perhaps you could call it comedy purposes, I'll be reading this story in, um, in a bit of a, a lower, uh, more sensual voice, I suppose. Let me go grab the vodka.
guy dead beats his cat in the hat time. Let's do this. Are you ready for some cat in the hat? I know you dead beats love cat in the hat. I can't believe it's come to this. <sighs> Alright. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out, and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house, we did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. And then something went bump. And how that bump made us jump. Excuse me, I didn't say that correctly. Let me start over. Not the whole story. <laughs> and then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked. Then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, Why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet, and the sun is not sunny. But we can have lots of good fun that is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind it at all if I do. This is getting really fucking old creep. I can't even know if I can actually have the cat. I don't think I have a moral obligation to not make the cat in the hat sound like that. I have a moral obligation to not. I can't let the cat. <laughs> it, it stopped being it stopped it stopped being sensual it started being real creepy hold on I just keep thinking of Mike Myers hold on a minute uh, then Sally and I did not know what to say our mother was out of the house for the day but our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat, you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. I kind of have to agree with the fish, to be honest. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why? We can have lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up, Up with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball, with a book on one hand, and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me. Look at me now. Sorry. Look at me meow, said the cat. I added that myself. That's my own special touch. With a cup and a cake on the top of my hat, I can hold up two books, I can hold up the fish, and a little toy ship, and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball. But that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. 
Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup, and the milk, and the cake. I can hold up these books, and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship. Really? Really, motherfucker? Just a moment. The pizza is here. However, I'm going to finish this story first and then we'll eat the pizza. We gotta finish Cat in a Hat, though. Hold on, where are we? Okay. Where was there? Was the cup and the cake on the top of the hat? Hold up two books, hold up the fish, little toy ship, milk in a dish. Oh, hop up and down on the ball, okay. But that's not all, oh no, that's not all, okay. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup, and the milk, and the cake. I can hold up these books, and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship, and a little toy man. And look, with my tail I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan, as I hop on the ball. But that is not all, oh no, that is not all. That is what the cat said, then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. He came down with a bump, I just said that, from there on the ball. <laughs> and Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too, he fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish, as he lit. Huh? As he lit? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Like, like lit? Like, like, litty? Like, yo, that's lit? Like that? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Not a hobonet. Uh, that might, is that a, uh, typo? What was he lighting? Was he lighting, like, a cigarette, or having a little smoky smoke? Devil's cabbage? What on earth? No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. I yo that fish lit though. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship. Sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is out. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. Oh, wait, hmm? Not a hood, what? Is that, is that supposed to rhyme? Hold on. You should not be here when our mother is not. Ah, okay. It's not out. I was gonna say, that doesn't rhyme. I'm a rapper, I know. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. 
And so said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box, a big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat, take a look. Then he got up on top with a tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their hands, but our fish said, no, no. Those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump, oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it, not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump. Down the wall, in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw Mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hops and big thumps, and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home, do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us, what will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish, do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So, as fast as you can think of something to do, you will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net, and I said with my net I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net, it came down with a plop, and I had them at last. Those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, Now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat, you did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook, and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away, yes, but your mother will come. She will find this big mess, and this mess is so big and so deep and so tall. We cannot pick it up. There is no way at all. And then, who was back in the house? Why the cat? Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown, and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish, and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And he put them away, and he said, That is that. And then he was gone with a tip of his hat. Then our mother came in, and she said to us too, Did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? 
Now what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? The end. That was nuts, so deadbeats. Whoa. Oh, I feel strange. I feel real strange. Come on, get out of my room. <laughs> my crown, what the fuck? I want the piano on again while I eat this pizza. Um, now, I didn't choose... Um, what is it? Pop, pops on rocks and rocks on fox on socks, Mr. Knox. Box, fox, Knox, box, Yatsu. That one. Um, I chose two other Dr. Seuss ones because I wanted to mix it up. But I mean, if you guys want to hear me do the Mr. Fox one I did um, on archived karaoke stream, I'm sure someone somewhere has uh, access to it. So you can check it out there. It's pizza time. If you guys don't like, hold on. if you guys don't like eating, please, uh, you know, you can mute uh, for the next ten minutes or so. Uh, this one is it's mushroom. I love mushrooms on pizza. Mm -hmm. Pizza time. Hmm. Hey, that beats. What's for dinner? Not for me, for you. Or rather, what's for breakfast? I want you to tell me. Does it have pineapple? No pineapple. Pineapple and mushrooms don't go well uh, on a pizza, in my opinion. Mmm, croissant. Nice. Waffles, eggs, coffee. I had curry for dinner. Nice. Mm, I want to make curry. Homemade curry. Mmm. Chicken... See, no, I've never heard of that. Oatmeal and coffee, scrambled eggs, chips. <laughs> Arby's. Mmm. Pasta, salmon, apples and carrots, oatmeal. Chicken bolognese, that sounds tasty. Macaroni, I miss macaroni. You for dinner, ha 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 ha. Mmm. Bread and eggs. Leftover sushi. Nice. Mmm. This pizza has like three different mushrooms on it. Mmm, chicken alfredo. Tasty. Who is eating canes? Don't you do this to me. You know I love canes, dead beats. Mmm. Candy soup. <laughs> Kimchi noodle. Mmm. Mushroom gang, rise up. I love mushrooms. Canes is really tasty fried chicken. Mm -hmm. No, it's got three different kinds of mushrooms, not only three mushrooms. Don't worry. Mm -mm -mm. Great. Big ups to mushroom lovers in chat. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Frick mushrooms. <laughs> Teach their own. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Got a lot of mushroom haters in here too. So the the pizzas um, are really tiny. You get like four slices. Um, so I also got margarita. I like margarita too. It's really nice and simple. Mm -hmm. I think. The only pizzas that I'm really not into are, um, well, anchovy, but I feel like that's 
a lot of people aren't into anchovy. I feel like some people um, might be surprised to know that I actually really don't like pepperoni. <laughs> Not my favorite. You can't beat a classic. Agreed. Mm -hmm. You're making me hungry. I'll go get a snack. Make sure it's tasty. Mm -mm -mm. No pepperoni. I don't like it. <laughs> there are some other deadbeats who understand. Mm -hmm. Got your tomato base, so that's all you need. Yep. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to eat a little bit. I'm gonna save the rest for the Scarface watch along. Mm. I'm tapping him right after this. Mm. Members only tier two and three. No pepperoni. That's against my <laughs> against the law. I thought you were gonna say my law. I love every food. Nice egg on pizza is great. That's a really popular, mm. a popular flavor in Glorious Nippon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't like pepperoni either, but mushrooms on the other hand are tasty. I agree. I'm a big mushroom fan. Mm -hmm. One more slice. Oh. Would love to try egg on pizza. I recommend it. It's good. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. Actually, dead beats. I slept all day, <laughs> so I really didn't get a chance to eat. <laughs> I don't eat cheese. It's not for everyone. Sometimes it hurts people's tummies, and that's understandable. Mm, I'm done for now. I just got a couple little slices. some mizu hold on let me go find some mizu i know i have some mizu around here i can't just have the vodka Juice. I got some fruit juice too. Hold on. To chase the vodka. Ah, I got the hiccups. Oh no. Oh gosh. No, Taihan. I can't have the hiccups for this stream. Ah. This fruit juice is tasty. <sighs> it's okay, the fear of the hiccups scared them away. Alright! Mm. On to the next! On to the next one! The hiccups only make it better, oh gosh. Now yeah, maybe they'll come back. The next one is red f one fish, two fish. Fish, blue fish. I want to read it. Where is it? No, I don't want to watch someone else read it. Do not. Are you going to put the text on the screen? No, they did not. Read one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Why aren't you letting me? <clears throat> mm. I see where it went. Ah! 
I'm sorry. Uh, I had to pull up my keyboard and then it moved my microphone. Don't fall over. I'm begging you, don't fall over. You'll hurt my deadbeats, so I'll kill you. Don't you hurt them. Oh, I guess I'm holding the mic. Ah! Sorry, it's gonna hurt you. It's gonna hurt your ears. Please. Guess I'm holding the mic. Oh well. <clears throat> anyway. All right, come on, where is it? There we go. I think I found it. I am deaf now. <laughs> Yes, okay, we got the book. I am able to access it. All right, Mike, now you're gonna behave. Okay, you behave. No. Stop. Why are you doing that? Stop. Behave. It was fine before. What's going on? Here. Let me lock it into place. Oh, that's definitely not the way to do it. <laughs> do not move. Well, I don't know what changed. I don't know what happened, but now it's not working. It's not staying in place, so it's, it just means that I have to work a little harder. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yes, we won't move. Okay, stay there. Here we go. It's time for one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Okay. Ah. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Here we go. All right, here we go. We're reading it now. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Yes, some red and some are blue. Some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. And some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a yellow hat. From here to there, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, what a lot of funny things go by. Some have two feet, and some have four. Some have six feet, and some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say. But I bet they have come a long, long way. We see them come, we see them go. Some are fast, and some are slow. Some are high, and some are low. Not one of them is like another. Don't ask us why. Go ask your mother. Ah, it's funny. He got him. Woo. Say, look at his fingers. One, two, three. How many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, he has eleven. Eleven? 
This is something new. I wish I had eleven, too. But we know a man called Mr. Grump. Mr. Grump has a seven hump wump. So, oh wait, she go. <laughs> I'm reading it incorrectly. I'm having to read. I'm not going to tell you guys how I'm reading this. Never mind. Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump. But we know a man called Mr. Gump. Foresto song. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So, if you like to go bump, bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of Gump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of bed up here. We like our bike. It is made for three. Our Mike sits up in back, you see. We like our Mike, and this is why. Mike does all the work when the hills get high. Hello there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me, what is new? How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. Um, why are you calling to ask uh, him a question? That's really strange, actually. I don't know why you're doing that. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse. Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Oh, dear, oh, dear, I cannot hear. Will you please come over here, near? <laughs> Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, look, a bird was in your ear, but he is out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old, my teeth are gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off, my foot is cold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old, my teeth are gold, and now my story is all told. Wow. We took a look. We took... Oh, let me try again. Hold on. I got this, I got this, I got this. We took a look. We saw a nook. On his head, he had a hook. On his hook, he had a book. On his book was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read, so a nook can't cook. So what good to a nook is a hook cookbook? Kusatori? Mm -hmm. Kusatori? Is Kusatori here? <clears throat> the moon was out, and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk. I would take a car. She should be streaming. She's playing Fall Guys. Don't bother her. Do not bother. Do not bother her. If Kusatori is streaming, do not go bother her. <laughs> Please, I beg of you. Arodo? Okay. Next. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans. And that is why we have a Zans. A Zans for cans is very good. 
Have you a Zans for Kens? You should. <laughs> I like to box. How I like to box. So every day I box a gox. In yellow socks, I box my gox. I box in yellow gox box socks. It is fun to sing if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high and my ying sings low. And we are not too bad, you know. <laughs> this one, I think, is called a yink. He likes to wink. He likes to drink. He think he likes to drink. Ugh, gosh darn it. That was your boy trying to trying to rhyme. Let's start over. This one I think is called a yink. He likes to wink, he likes to drink. He likes to drink and drink and drink. The thing he likes to drink is ink. The ink he likes to drink is pink. He likes to wink and drink pink ink. So if you have a lot of ink then you should get a yink, I think. Hop hop hop. I am a yap. All I like to do is hop from finger top to finger top. I hop from left to right and then hop hop. I hop right back again. I like to hop all day and night, from right to left and left to right. From right to left and left to right. Why do I like to hop hop hop? I do not know. Go ask your pop. Brush, 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 comb, 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 comb. Blue hair is fun to brush and comb. All girls who like to brush and comb should have a pet like this at home. Who is this pet? Say, he is wet. You never yet met a pet, I bet, as wet as they let this wet pet get. <laughs> Did you ever fly a kite in bed? Did you ever walk with ten cats on your head? Did you ever milk a cow, this kind of cow? Well, we can do it. We know how. If you never did, you should. These things are fun, and fun is good. Hello, hello. Are you there? Hello. I called you up to say hello. I said hello. Can you hear me, Joe? Oh, no. I cannot hear your call. I cannot hear your call at all. This is not good, and I know why. A mouse has cut the wire. Goodbye. <laughs> This is silly. This book's really silly. <laughs> from near to far, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. These yellow pets are called the Zeds. They have one hair up on their heads. Their hair grows fast, so fast they say. They need a haircut every day. Who am I? My name is Ish. On my hand, I have a dish. I have this dish to help me wish. When I wish to make a wish, I wave my hand with a big swish swish. Then I say I wish for fish, and I get fish right on my dish. So, if you wish to wish a wish, you may swish for fish with my ish wish dish. Narodona. At our house, we play out back. We play a game called Ring the Gack. Would you like to play this game? Come down. We have the only gack in town. Look what we found in the park in the dark. We will take him home. We will call him Clark. He will live in our house. He will grow and grow. Will our mother like this? We don't know. Oh, saigo no page. Last. And now, good night, it is time to sleep. So we will sleep with our pet, Zeep. Today is gone. Today was fun. Tomorrow is another one. Every day, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Callie is now rapping. I'm sorry, it's just instinct. It's just instinct. I do it because... I do it because... This body tells me to. We finished the book. I'd really like to put the microphone down. I don't want to hold it. Are you going to behave? No? You're not going to behave for me? Please behave. It's because the keyboard is pushing. Stop. What if the keyboard doesn't push it? Potch, potch, potch. That was epic. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. No. No. Stop. I can make a first. I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then I'll make a quick trick block stack. 
You can make a quick trick brick stack. You can make a quick trick block stack. Um, oh. and here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Fox on bricks, chicks, chicks on blocks. Goodbye. And then the last uh, Dr. Seuss one that I wanted to read, unfortunately, hang on, let me see if I can find it. I bet I can find it. a really girthy guh. I want to read this. Okay. Are you going to tell me that my free trial is over? Why? What have you done? You see what you did to me? I will get it to work. I will get it to work. I will get it to work. I don't want to read a sample. It was available on the site that I was looking at. It's just the text wasn't showing up. How far can we get? How far can we get? Here, you show me a video, and I'll read from the video. No. Yes. Is this gonna work? Yeah, it is. Here we go. And the last Dr. Seuss. Yes, I must yatta. Is of course the classic, the legendary, Hop on Pop. Hop on pop. So let's read hop on pop. Here we go. All right, play, and I'm going to read from the video. Here we go. All right. It's hop on pop by Dr. Seuss. Hop on pop. Up, pop, pop is up. Not over there. Cup, pop, pop in cup. Pop, cup, cup on pop. Mouse, house, mouse on house, house, mouse, house on mouse. All tall, we all are tall. All small, we all are small. So cute. Wow. All ball, we all play ball. Ball, wall, up on a wall. Wow. When do we get to hop on pop? I want to hop on him. All fall, fall off the wall. Can I break my neck? Ah. Ah. Day, play, we play all day. Night, fight, we fight all night. Yatta, I like the night. Ah. He, me, he is after me. Him. Jim. Jim is after him. I like Jim. Jim's got some spunk. C. B. We see a V. C. B. Three. Now we see three. Three. Tree. Three fish in a tree. Fish in a tree. How can that be? Red, red, they call me red. Red, bed, I am in bed. That dude's got a sick haircut. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed in bed. That's a big bed. All the homies. Pat, Pat, they call him Pat. Pat, sat, Pat sat on hat. That's not uh, correct English. You should say the hat or a hat. Pat, K, 
Cat, Pat sat on cat. Here we go again with the ink. Pat, bat, Pat sat on bat. Now, you listen, Dr. Seuss. I know that you know correct grammatical English. Don't put Pat, no, don't sit on that. And in case you can't see, it's a cactus. Yeah, it's a cactus. Sad dad, bad had. Dad is sad. Very, very sad. He had a bad day. What a day dad had. Exclamation point. Dad is mad, and we don't know why. We're gonna find out. But we'll probably die. Thing, thing, what is that thing? Thing, sing, that thing can sing. Oh. Song, long, a long, long song. Goodbye, thing, you sing too long. <laughs> He's just doing his thing. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. Having a little solo concert. How very rude of you to walk away. Walk, walk, we like to walk. Walk, talk, we like to talk. I can see that. Hop, pop, we like to hop. We like to hop on top of pop. Stop. You must not hop on pop. I know, it's fine. I want to hop on pop. Konbanwa. Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown. I'm going to guess what this says. It says Mr. Brown is upside down, but I can't see. There we go. I got it right. Mr. Brown is upside down. Pop up, brown down. Pop is down. Where is brown? Where do you think brown is, Dad Beads? Mr. Brown is out of oh sorry where is mr he is out of town this isn't a very good read along back black brown came back brown came back with mr black snack snack eat a snack i'm getting hungry again eat a snack with brown and black. You don't want to know, Cal. You don't want to know where Mr. Brown went. Jump, bump. He jumped, he bumped. Fast, past. He went past, fast. Went, tent, sent. He went in, in, into the tent, I think. Yeah, into the tent. He went into the tent. I sent him out of the tent. Yeah, that looked pretty rude. It looked like he was getting all up in your tent. Why have I frozen? Ah, low power mode. That's not a good sign. Wet, get. Two dogs get wet. Help, yelp. They yelp for help. Oh no, Tayanne. Hill, will. Will went uphill. Will, hill, still. Will is uphill still. Oh, that, that doesn't look like a hill. That looks like a some kind of totem pole. Father, mother. Does it say sister, brother? Sister? Brother. That is my other brother. My brothers read a little bit words like if and it. Now those are short ones. That's why they read them, because they're young. Yeah. My father can read big words, too, like Const Constantinople and Timbuktu. Say, say, what does this say? See, hem, we pat, pop, up the tree, be, top, hop, stop. Oh. Ask me tomorrow, but not today. Ed, bed, read so long, and it just says that that's the end. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess that's... That'd be the end, huh? I'm gonna plug in my phone. That's it. I need to use my phone camera. Oh my gosh, it is so- Ah! No! Debbie's warning, warning! Oh no, you guys are fucked. You guys are fucked. Let me mute them. I'm gonna mute it.
Okay, I set it down, but it's far away from the camera. Alright guys, plugging in my camera ASMR. Here we go. Plugging in this ASMR plugging in the camera. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. Both my ears are my ears are bleeding. That's what you want, isn't it? I thought you were into that. Or was I wrong? Excuse me, I guess I was wrong. Everyone's always like, oh, beat me up, Cali, mommy, step on me, etc., etc., all that shit. And then something like that happens, it's, oh, my owls, wow, my owls hurt. My owls hurt? Meow? My ears hurt, oh gosh, Cali, I hate you. How could you do this to me, Dad? <laughs> no, that was good. Kelly is high. You really think I'm under the influence just because I'm actually a really incredibly strange being. That's so cute. Am I, uh, Shrexy? It's interesting that you say that. Um, we have one more, uh, semi-serious. Well, actually, it's, it's not serious. It's, it's not, and that's why uh, we're about to have some fun. Um, but it's a legitimate, this is the last legitimate reading that we're going to do. I say legitimate, but it's it's really not. It really could not be uh, less legitimate. No, I'm happy. Please do it again. <laughs> Hit me, please. <laughs> I should drop the mic more often, I guess. Oh, drop the mic. I'm going to try one more time to set it up, but I will not sacrifice. I know that you guys are ha I, Some of you are happy about this. Others are in pain, though. So just give me one moment, please. I'm going to mute really quick. Yeah, I couldn't actually fix it. I don't know what on earth was happening. Um, when I tried to put the microphone down, it kept hitting the keyboard, kept pressing a button. Um, I don't know what's... Uh, please go down, I'm begging you. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. It's fine, I'm holding... I still have to hold the mic, but at least it's more stable now. Alright. Uh, boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. Boots and cats and boots and cats and... It's like that. Now, the next uh, story that we're going to read, you'll be able to find the link in the description for it after the, uh, after the reading is over, after the stream is over. Uh, now this, we're not going to read the whole thing. I'm going to leave a couple pages at the end because I want you to go and experience it for yourself. Um, it's called, uh, and excuse me if you don't want to hear me curse, if you're under the age of 12, close your ears, uh, but it's called Go the Fuck to Sleep. Now, I'm not going to be ho holding back my curse words because this, it does, it's not good uh, otherwise. Uh, it, you can't get the full effect. You can't get the full effect um, if I, if I uh, curse, so if I don't curse. So yeah, um, so this is, <laughs> oh, some of you are very happy. Uh, this one is called Go the Fuck to Sleep by Adam Mansbach, illustrated by Ricardo Cortez. And here we go. I hope you're ready for a banger. The cats nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have lain down with the sheep. You are cozy and warm in your bed, my dear. Please, go the fuck to sleep. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear. You'll go the fuck to sleep. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep 
I know you're not thirsty. That's bullshit. Stop lying. Lie the fuck down, my darling, and sleep. The wind whispers soft through the grass on. The field mice, they make not a peep. It's been 38 minutes already. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Go to sleep. All the kids from daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last leap. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go? The fuck to sleep. The owls fly forth from the treetops. Ah. Through the air they soar and they sweep. A hot crimson rage fills my heart, love. For real, shut the fuck up and sleep. The cubs and the lions are snoring, wrapped in a big snuggly heap. How come you can do all this other great shit, but you can't lie the fuck down and sleep? The seeds slumber beneath the earth now and the crops that the farmers will reap. No more questions, this interview's over. I've got two words for you, kid, fucking sleep. The tiger reclines in the simmering jungle. The sparrow has silenced her cheap. Fuck your stuffed bear, I'm not getting you shit. Close your eyes, cut the crap, sleep. The flowers doze low in the meadows, and high on the mountain so steep. My life is a failure, I'm a shitty-ass parent. Stop fucking with me, please, and sleep. The giant pangolins of Madagascar are snoozing, as I lie here and openly weep. Sure, fine, whatever, I'll bring you some milk. Who the fuck cares, you're not gonna sleep. That's it. That's all I can read. That's all I can read. Your boy doesn't want to get in trouble, but I recommend you go check out the book. I'll link it in the description below after all of this is over. So yeah, thanks, Dad. Watch, 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 watch. Beautiful mic drop. This makes me sleepy. I'm glad it made you sleepy. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, that's not... Hold on. Where's the sad piano? I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. You're beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad you could enjoy it. Now, next. Let's see. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, the, the next one. Oh, God, no. Oh, okay, we're nearing the end here. I have two more things I want to read for you, and they are they will they are not meant to be serious. So for those of you that are here for the serious readings, I bid you farewell. I'm your Mori. Hope you'll remember me, and I hope that you enjoyed, and that it was fun. Um, now for those of you that are planning to stay and suffer, um, I have a classic that I want to read for you. It's one of my earliest internet memories, actually, and I'm pleased to share it. It's a beautiful piece of fiction, and you can look it up on your own time as I've included the name of the author. <laughs> anyway... The name of the piece of fiction that we are reading is a little tale. It's, it's, it's a tale of bravery, of, um, of sacrifice, um, of clothing, good weather, <laughs> a motorcycle that does a flip. This is Half-Life, Full Life Consequences, by Squirrel King. John Freeman, who was Gordon Freeman's brother, was one day in an office typing on a computer. 
he got an email from his brother that said that aliens and monsters were attacking his place and asked him for help, so he went. John Freeman got his computer shut down and went on the platform to go up to the roof of the building where he left his motorcycle and normal people clothes because he was in his office lab coat. John Freeman got on his motorcycle and said it's time for me to live up to my family name and face full life consequences, so he had to go. John Freeman ramped off the building and did a backflip and landed. He kept driving down the road and made sure there were no zombies around because he didn't have a weapon. Excuse me, I read it incorrectly. Let me try it one more time. Ah! He kept driving down the road and made sure there was no zombies around because he didn't have weapon. The countrysides were nice and the plants were singing and the birds and the sun was almost down from the top of the sky. The mood was set for John Freeman's quest to help his brother where he was. John Freeman looked around the countryside and said it's a good day to do what has to be done by me and help my brother to defeat the enemies. John Freeman was late, so he had to drive really fast. A cop car was hidden near. By, so when John Freeman went by, the cops came and wanted to give him a ticket. Here John Freeman saw the first monster because the cop was possessed and had head crabs. I can't give you my license, officer, John Freeman said. Why not, said the head crab officer, back to John Freeman. Because you are head crab zombie, so John Freeman shot the officer in the head and drove off thinking my brother is in trouble there and went faster. John Freeman had to go faster like the speed of sound and got there fast because Gordon needed him where he was. John Freeman looked at road signs and saw Ravenholm with someone riding under it saying, You shouldn't come here, so John Freeman almost turned around but heard screaming like Gordon, so he went faster again. John Freeman drove in and did another flip and jumped off his motorbike, and the motorbike took out some headcrab zombies in front of John Freeman. John Freeman smiled and walked fast. John Freeman then looked at the ground and found weapons, so he picked it up and fired fast at zombie ghosts in front of a house. John Freeman said gom- <laughs> Gombie ghosts? John Freeman said, zombie ghosts leave this place. And the zombie ghosts said, but this is our house. And John Freeman felt sorry for them because they couldn't live there anymore because they were zombie ghosts. So he blew up the house and killed the zombie ghosts so they were at peace. Then John Freeman heard another scream from his brother, so he kept walking really faster to get where he was. Ravenholm was nothing like the countrysides, with no birds singing and the pants were dead and Ted Dirt was messy and bloody from head crabs. When John Freeman got to where the screaming was started from, he found his brother Gordon Freeman fighting the final boss, and Gordon said, John Freeman over here! So John Freeman went there to where Gordon Freeman was fighting. John Freeman fired his bullet from Tegun really fast, and the bullets went and shot the final boss in the eyes, and the final boss couldn't see. Gordon Freeman said it's time to end this once and for all, and punched the final boss in the face, and the final boss fell. John Freeman said, thanks, I could help, bro. And Gordon Freeman said, you should come here earlier next time, and they laughed. The laugh overed quickly, though, because John Freeman yelled, look out, bro, and pointed up to the top of the sky. Gordon Freeman looked up and said, no! John Freeman, run out of here as fast as you can, and John Freeman walked real fast out. John Freeman looked back. Sorry, excuse me. John Freeman locked back and saw Gordon get stepped on by the next boss, and he was mad and angry. I'll get you back, evil boss, John Freeman yelled at the top of lungs. To be continued? That's it. You okay? I'm great. Anyway, John Freeman never runs, he only walks fast. Ah, oh, the cliffhanger, I know you, got, I guess you gotta go read the rest of the story if you wanna know what happens to <laughs> What a masterpiece. Alright, I have one last story to read you all. I was really on the fence about reading this one. Like, really on the fence. You guys have to understand that I'm going to censor some words, as I do in my usual fashion, but this is the finale. Um, please accept my decision. Otherwise, I can't- I'm, I wouldn't really think I'd be able to do it, maybe, possibly, no. Um, 
I have one last. Here we go. Censor nothing. What are you talking about? <laughs> that would be so unlike me. Come now. The final story that we are reading is widely requested. A beautiful piece of fiction that everyone wants to hear. I was only nine years old. I loved Shrek so much. I had all the merchandise and movies. I pray to Shrek every night, thanking him for the life I've been given. Shrek is love, I say. Shrek is life. My dad hears me and he calls me a mean name. I knew he was just jealous of my devotion to Shrek. I called him a C word. He hits me and sends me to sleep. I'm crying now and my face hurts. I lay in bed, really cold. I feel something warm. It's Shrek! I'm so happy. He whispers in my ear, this is my swamp. He grabs me with his ogre hands and puts me on my hands and knees. Whoa, hey, wait a minute, I haven't read this before. I'm ready. Huh? Wait. I haven't read this. I, s I spread my... <laughs> my, my A word. <laughs> Shrek. <laughs> This <laughs> my bloody sandwich hurts so much. But I do it for Shrek. I do Bologna sandwich. <laughs> the eye is watering. I want to. I want to. Please. <laughs> he roars a mighty roar as he <laughs> as he <laughs> he adds a lettuce leaf to my sandwich my dad walks in Shrek looks him straight in the eye and says it's all over now <laughs> Shrek leaves through the window. <laughs> Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Why did you have me read this? <laughs> Why did you have me read? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, I've read this before. I didn't remember it being this bad. <laughs> it's all over now. What have you done, Cat? Hey. At least, at least I censored. You guys read it yourselves. Why didn't I read it before I had a long time ago? I didn't remember it being this bad. It's fine. I read nothing lewd. It's just a story about Shrek putting a lettuce leaf on a bologna sandwich uh, for um, a young child who loves Shrek. I don't know what all the hubbub is about. You guys are freaking out over nothing. It's all over now. I will not read it again. Don't read it. Anyway, that's it. Um, I have to go watch Scarface with the deadbeat, so we need to quickly do some shoutouts and uh, get the F word out of here. Um, so for those of you not staying for Super Chat Reading, uh, I'm your Mori. Hope you'll remember me. This has been real interesting and fun. Uh, I had a really good time. Um, things, you know, escalated and whatnot, um, and got kind of crazy nutso. Um, but yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, it's gotta end, but...
the mission, the nightmares are finally over. <laughs> that was fun and interesting. So anyway, uh, I'll see you guys going to uh, members only wine stream. We're going to watch Scarface. See you there. Um, and then for those of you uh, that are going to go to the next stream, see you at Getting Over It. I'm taking a little break uh, tomorrow to work on lyrics and recording and that kind of thing. So I won't see you until the next day, but uh, I'll see you then. And uh, yeah, take a little break. Uh, read uh, some shoutouts, and uh, with that being said, bye bye guys! See ya! <laughs>
Mary X79, No Name 88, Xiang, Ninja 111, Small Brain, thank you very much, Dark Vega 4, Pies are tasty, Really Lagar, Ragin Canadian, Unme Tobaku, Dark Vega 4, Eta, Mark Sterner, in a traditional sense. The Frosted Firefly, Bastion 0589, Irfan Jafar, NRT2, PNT0, Sukuna Shinyomaru, Kira X, thank you so much for the Akaspa, no message, what a chat, do 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 do. Yeah. Uh, big ups to, I can't read this Russian name, but thank you. Big ups to Hollow, Koer, Kikito. Michael Yalei, thank you so much for the Akaspa. I never thought I'd ever hear Edgar Allan Poe read so well. Definitely worth a brick. That's so sweet. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. Thanks for enjoying. Do 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 pretend it's a kazoo. <laughs> da 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 da. I tried my best. Big ups to Nicodem, Deadbeat, Princess Day, Vampiric Otaku 2021, Cloud Pan, TV's Frank's Wild Years, Draconic Insight. <laughs> Succubus Bait, Kikito, Sabzilla, Kami Sensei, Kanjiro Beat, Nikodem, Alice Jade, Sakura Akemi, Small Brain, Tyler Vong, Luca Umbriol, Nimu 90, Sakura Akemi, Thomas Gunlance, Primal Maniacs, Yakumo Yomi, Brian Hitchner, Tentacled 7336, Sweaty Lumpia, Kayo Ember, Pyro Rampa, Bruno L. Tentacled 7336. Captain Corncop. Marzara Vell. Bakawagi. Thank you so much for the Akaspa Bakawagi. Cal, you're much too good at this. How are we supposed to stay up for a member stream later? <laughs> Do your best. <laughs> sorry, I'm glad that you enjoyed that. Thank you, thank you. Makeups to YouTube AI. Oh, sorry, Bakawagi. Here's your tune. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. I should try, I should try scatting. Maybe when I'm better at it. Da, 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 da. Big ups to YouTube AI, Drop to Vault, Kenshin 491, Steve, Pyro Rampa, Jared Gonzalez, Steve, Tentacled 7336, Drop to Vault, Pyro Rampa, Flynn Pierce, Sean R, Kenshin 491, Matt Elliott, Millie, Roe, Captain Weeb, Yamata Could You Stop Virus, Thank you for being you, Callie. If I were better with words, I'd tell you how much I appreciate and look, I mean, like you. Hmm. What were you gonna say? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Or something like that. I don't know. Thank you very much, Yamata. Could you stop virus? I appreciate it. Uh. Big ups to William. Michael Yule. Drop the vault. Tentacle 7336. Michael Yule. God's ball. Uh, Niga. Derp, Darp, Daniel Pires, Tentacle 7336, Derp, Darp, Tentacle 7336, Neochi, Otatsuji, Notatsuji, Very Airy, Pyro Rampa, Nikodem, Tentacle 7336, Kira X, thanks for the Akaspa, Curb Stomp Me. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm not going to, that sounds like it's going to hurt you. Big ups to Tentacle 7336, Okusen Man, Bubba, Pix Air LZ, Big ups to K, Zephyr Kitten KFP Real Cat, Furudo, Kenjiro Beat, Pyro Rampa, Draconic Insight, Mew May, Jam, Jam, Jampo De, De, Roll. Big ups to K. I'm sleep. Thank you forever. Thank you, K. Glad you enjoyed. Do 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 da, 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 da. That's a nice reference. I really like that clip too. Big ups to Nimu ninety. A raw, a raw, uh, ch mm? chicken. Nikodem. Pyro Rampa. Kenjiro beat. Pyro Rampa. It's Bach worst. Claro. O o Osta Osta Joey V Faction Nicholas J The Frosted Firefly Nimu 90 
Tython KFP Legal Drone, Luca Umbriel, Kayo Amber, Hippity Hop, Pyro Rampa, thanks for the Akaspa. If someone told me years ago that one day I'd wake up early to hear an anime girl whispering quietly in my ear, Shrek is love, Shrek is life, I'd call them a fool. Who's the fool now? <laughs> True facts. I mean, you could say the same for me, honestly, Pyro Rampa. I didn't think I'd ever read that story live in front of many, 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 many people. Anyway, thanks, Pyro Rampa. Big ups to Venom, Nightstar. Luke, Kransu, Bielsa Baba, Zephyr Kitten, KFP Real Cat, Sir Fenny, Kay, Light Ashura, The Terra Bull, and last but not least, Rarest Vegeta One. Yay, we did it, we read him. Yatta. Whew, and now we gotta run. Sorrow, sorrow, say goodbye, the end, I'm not sorry, but da da na 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 na. Put it there. It's time to go. Old Scotty, I gotta speak a little louder because the outro... <laughs> you guys can't even... Ah! The mic is slipping. I gotta quickly change mics and change layouts. Oh, goodness gracious. We're gonna watch a movie. Maybe I'll delay it by five minutes. <laughs> We're watching Scarface. Huh. Old Scotty, oh, it's the end of the party. Old Scotty, it's the end of the party. Let's hit the road. Gotta switch. 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 Flip the switch. Gotta run. But thanks for watching what I put out, though. It's not a time. Excuse me. Sorry, Ty Hen. I'm tired from doing nothing. Well, I'm not doing nothing. I was busy today. Just not really streaming, you know? I slept quite a bit, but... Because I can't be so good. Your boy's been working. I've been writing those lyrics. Recording and whatnot. I feel like I need to have another sip. Take another cup of coffee. But I won't. You gotta watch a movie, and I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. No stream tomorrow. No stream tomorrow because, um... I gotta write lyrics and I gotta record. So, yeah. For those of you who don't know, bye bye. Uh, see you again soon. See you again sometime, Daddy. <sighs> Sleepy but excited to watch a movie I really like a lot. Um, I put up a poll actually. Uh, a lot of people weren't feeling old Adam, and I don't blame them at all. Um, even though the movies that I put were uh, the quote unquote good ones, quote unquote. Open quote, close quote. Um, we'll watch them sometime. But uh, for now, I, w I wanted to do something different um, for the member streams that isn't just drinking wine and talking because we talk during the chatting stream, so I wanted to try something else. So. Yeah, anyway, well, I'm excited um, to, to watch. You know what else we do? So, I might get close, I might get to my endurance stream goal faster than I thought. If that's the case, all other plans are cancelled. Um, I mean, if, for example, RPG Maker Sunday, if I hit my threshold that morning, we'll stream that morning, uh, and then we'll still do the RPG Maker stream, but it'll be part of the endurance stream, so yeah. Once we get, we're, get, we're approaching, we're getting close to a million that beats, it's all because of you guys. Thank you for cheering for me, and I'm really looking forward to everything that's gonna happen from here. So until then, I'm Mori. Hope you remember me. Yeah, we'll go watch a fun movie. Bye bye. So to so to say goodbye the end. I'm not sorry, but I wanna see you again sometime. A song in my heart, a world of worry falling on your mind. Wait, don't we leave it all behind? この瞬間がたがらもの君たちとは私いつまでも今日も生きていようかと問いたら幸せ。さよなら。そろそろ Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck 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 it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck 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 get 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 fuck it. Fuck it. Me 
ーナさん今日の楽しいライブ配信に来てくれて誠にありがとうございます今日もラップしたいと思いますでは始めましょうハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、ハロー、